Hey, Plant Fam. Hey, Plant Fam. Where'd she go? I don't know. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. I found this guy on my way here. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. So, where do you know what town we're technically in? No. No, I don't. We're at Mahoney's. Wait, was it Win, 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 Windsor, Winchester, Windsor, Win, Win. Something like that. We're at Mahoney's. Mahoney's. I'm going to have to look But it a up. different one than the one we've been to in the past. Winchester. The other one we went to was we're in, in, Winchester, in a town that starts with a B. Remember Winchester. the other one? Brook, Brook no. something? Brook, Brook something? <laughs> we're terrible at this There's right a lot now. of Mahoney's locations. We're in yeah. Winchester. We're yes. on our way to Boston. He's leaving me. Goodbye. For the weekend. On a jet plane. But I wanted to stop here. I've never been to this location before. I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to go inside and see what they have. Okay. Probably plants. I hope so. Okay. Let's go check like it out. Like house plants. They have lots of like other plants, but yeah. Well, let's see. Here we go. The trees. Ooh, I like the one with the bat. Pumpkin. <laughs> Cute. Um, I like these. The skulls. They're spider webs. You dead now? Okay, I'll come. All right. Why don't I have that this? one's cool. I don't know. That is like a really goofy looking <laughs> skull. Hey, look at those. Those are so cute. Staying alive. <laughs> Please don't die. Oh no. I love this one. That's good. I might need it. I might need that for sure. That one's really cute too. Mm -hmm. Alright, I don't know where to go. Do you see a sign that says like I saw it. Aeroids or something. We have bonsai and carnivorous. I see some pothos and such over there. Oh, I see anthurium. Go straight to the anthurium. Look at the dark leaf with the red on it. What is it? Doc Block. Why do they have Doc Block? Why do they have, why do they What's have anthuriums by Doc Block? Doc so Block, he's just a grow, he's just a grower. What? That's insane. That's way too much money, first of all. I can get it for way less than that. But, it's a red crystal X Zara. How much is this album? 200. Ooh, nailed it. Mm-hmm. That's how much they usually cost retail. Unless you bought one from me, then it was probably less. <laughs> um, no, that's kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting that. What? I really wasn't expecting that at all, and I sure as shit wasn't expecting it to be $350. I guess that's not. Yeah, that's a Hoya. Wow, look at the giant ties behind you. How much are those? 200. That's not bad, and it's 25% off National Indoor Plant Week. Take 25% off all foliage houseplants. Okay. Okay, okay. Those are not bad albos. Those are beautiful. Anthurium. Look at it. I think I have one. It's just a baby. Or a similar one, at least. There's some alocasia. Cupria. These are proven winners. I got excited. I thought maybe those were going to be proven winners. Alocasia for cheap. <laughs> All the cute Calathea. And I don't know what he's doing over there. There's some peace lilies. Florida green. These are from proven winners. I got excited. I thought they were proven winners. <laughs> And that they were going to be like 30 bucks. <laughs> In my dreams, the uh, the anthurium, I was like, what is that? I thought it was going to be proven winners like these. Ficus tenekis over here, some shivs. I mean, they have they have some, some decent stuff. This one's super splashy. Yeah. 
25 except for we're in Massachusetts now too so there's tax lame silver sword I can't get over these these are so pretty I'm gonna have to come back and take thumbnail photos. I wasn't prepared to spend $350 today. Some Dracaena and such over here. I don't know if they have a lot of like indoor stuff. Oh, he's over there looking at something. What's over there? Oh, they've got like philodendron and stuff. All right. They've got some just like trees. I want tr I want to be able to grow fruit. Some carnosis and you're 50% off, so $25 for a big ass hanging mask. Fruit trees. I want fruit trees. Yeah, fruit. I know, but look at all the big. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Oh, Ring of Fire. That shouldn't be there, probably. 20 bucks. Wow. All right. For this huge one? Yeah. That's a steal. Show the price. It's nice. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice one. Like mm hmm. Not my favorite. I have the like Aurea mm -hmm. version of that philodendron. I really like it. I just wanted to check out these ficus down here. Some big bird of paradise. Yeah, everything's 25% off. That's pretty cool. I know, look at the rubies though. Mm -hmm. I would love to get a larger one someday. I just don't know where I would put it. Yes, and the sap is pretty toxic, so I don't think that's a good thing. Hold on. Uh, these two, I think. There's some snake plants over here, some big whale fins. Oh, 50% 50, yeah, 50 off. The music is louder over here though I feel like so okay fam so voiceover Jackie is coming at you for the rest of the video because the music back here was just getting louder and louder and I didn't want to risk any copyright claims on this video so some cute peperomia over here and again like I always say if I skip over something that you guys want to know the name of just leave me a timestamp down below and I'll do my best to help you out. This video is a little bit chaotic just because it's it's my first time here. I'm talking to David and I'm not paying that much attention, so I apologize for that. But this is cute. This is a little alocasia Mickey, Mickey Mouse, I think they call it. And it's normally 35, but it's 50% off. There's a lot of stuff on sale in here in case you missed some of the signs. Let's say 25% off all foliage plants. This, however, is like their little sale section. So everything over here was like 50% off. David was showing me this little pink princess that was only $10. There's some nice philodendron hiding in here for sure. Some big ones, small ones. There's some Fetonia over here with their weird little flowers. And then all of the big gloriosums to my right, but I'm distracted by the hanging basket, of course, of Hoya. This is Carnosa Crimson Princess, a pretty decent size basket, and it's 50% off. So there's some Hoya Compacta over here, some Peperomia, Diphenbachia here. I don't know the type, cute little Peperomia, and then... Of course, these beautiful philodendron gloriosums. I was just telling David that they're crawlers. That's why they're crawling out of the pot like that. So they're not really like the best as hanging plants, although I guess you technically could grow them that way. Philodendron billy over here on sale. And then these are huge, like massive. These are Philodendron Gigantium Blizzard or just Gigantium Marble Variegated is what they used to be called before somebody decided to nickname them Blizzard. Look at the variegation. This is a good reminder of why I still have my Gigantium. Even though it's small, I really do genuinely hope to grow it this large one day and to have the space to actually put it in. 
because that's not a thing right now. So over here, we're back more towards the part of the store where you enter. They have some orchids here, some hanging baskets. This is the Epipremnum Panatum Mint Variegated for $19.99, but again, everything was 25% off. That was last week, however, so we were there on a Friday, so I think we caught maybe the last day of it, so I do apologize for that. Hopefully, if you guys are local, you didn't miss the sale. They have some really cute pottery back there as well. I did not go through all of it. I was pretty overwhelmed with how big this place is, so I definitely will go back, no worries, and film a little bit more calmly on a quieter day. So we can like really really dig into everything that they have but david of course is distracted by these weird <laughs> planters and air plant holders i forget the name of this brand but i definitely see them often at the greenhouses and they're just really derpy and really cute so we were just laughing at some of those the cats here were adorable david was into this little crow so really really cute stuff for sure they've got all the supplies that you could need here too so definitely recommend coming this way you guys honestly it's about an hour and a half out from where i live but i will 100 percent be making the trip back here again literally just to come here and spend significant time here walking around and showing you guys absolutely everything so there's some cute little Rex begonia over here. You have some of the silver variety, some pink ones. I don't know the names of any of these. These ones to my right are super duper weird. They have the raised up bumps on them. I do show the tag at some point, but I show it too quickly for me to see it. So if you pause, maybe take a screenshot, you should probably be able to zoom in on that because I forget the name. But there are lots of really nice looking begonia. Some of them kind of look like peperomia, which is always funny to me when one plant kind of resembles another. There's some aglionema, really beautiful different pink varieties back here. Don't know what any of them are called besides that one. Isn't it like, it's like kiwi something i'm making that up aren't i i might be making that up there's also some stuff back here from urban jungle the same stuff that we'll see at lowe's a lot of the time some calathea some alocasia maharani back here apobolis and then they did have this cute little bird's nest fern that's kind of like ruffly fruffly and i'm into it they have anthurium superbum superbum i like to say <laughs> i think it's superbum but i like superbum better diphenbachia over here there's some xanthosoma in the back and then of course i made a beeline to the hoya and the dishidia over here this is dishidia i think jerry or green apple it's referred to by a few different names, I don't actually know which is the technical or like the botanical name. And then they have this cute hanging basket of Hoya. It has Parasitica splash in it, but then it also has this one little lonely vine of Obovata inner variegated. So I'm not sure how that happened, but there's a little mixed basket here. And I'm pretty sure that these said they were $19.99. There's some Dishidia ovata here some more Hoya and then of course I had to show this one to David this is one of his favorite plants I'm showing him the potential that his has for him this is a Senecio I actually brought this back from Texas last October for him so he's been taking care of it for just about a year now and it's doing really well so there's also some Dishidia Iowantha variegated hiding in there which is another one of his favorites of course probably his most prized possession when it comes to his plants is his dishidia 
Iolantha outer variegated because he's been growing it for years. He repotted it himself. He keeps it in his office. It's pretty cute. I'm not going to lie. Don't you guys love it when your partner actually kind of gets excited about plants sometimes? So yeah, 1999 for these Hoya hanging baskets, but again, they were 25% off. So I hope that you guys didn't miss it. You got to sign up for emails for sure for your favorite more local greenhouses so that you don't miss out on plant events and sales and things going on. I've learned that lesson the hard way. Follow them on social media. Make sure you're keeping up with what's going on so that you don't miss out on good deals. So Philodendron Pariso Verde over here, again, just $19.99. Absolutely beautiful plant. I just don't like the way that it grows. And then there's some really, really stunning Philodendron Gloriosum hiding over here. Absolutely gorgeous. They all look slightly different. I think a lot of them are usually grown from seed, so they're not ever really exactly the same. Some have more pronounced veins than others, and they're just really beautiful. I hate growing them, but I acknowledge that they're really beautiful. There's a nice little syndapsis hanging basket here looking nice and healthy and cute. And then David was showing me this massive Dean McDowell philodendron. He was in awe of how big it is and the fact that I have one, I told him, and I, I plan for it to get that big hopefully one day. These are the philodendron squamy, squamiferum, squamiferum. I don't know. Absolutely beautiful plant though when it's mature. Love the fuzzy petioles. And then these are massive philodendron jungle boogie. So these are just the green version of the ring of fire for only $40, you guys. That's a steal even without the sale. There's some Adansonii on poles back there, some Tetrasperma, and I'm just distracted by the beautiful veining on some of these Gloriosums. Absolutely stunning. So around the corner here, we have some more Philodendron Ring of Fire. Like I said, these are the same. They're just variegated. And then these look like the Philodendron uh, Black Billy. So they're slightly darker than the regular Billy. The petioles are a different color. And these are only $19.99. I honestly should have gotten one. It's a Philodendron Billy crossed with Adabap Poensi. So it takes on some of the color of the Adabap on the back of the leaves. And it's just really pretty. And David was showing off this stunning ring of fire for also only $20. He was like, that's insane. Even he knows that that's insane because those used to be so expensive. And the variegation on them is absolutely beautiful. So some more Dean McDowell's hiding back here. I prefer this one to the Gloriosum. It's a lot easier to grow in my environment for sure it's a very easy grower very hardy philodendron and it's got those beautiful pillowy leaves and i really really love that about it so over here we have this monstera esquiletto looking really nice and full honestly it had a very long tendril that was tangled up and making it very difficult for me to try and get to the price but i think it was like 120 or something along those lines don't quote me though. It did say it on there. I just, I didn't see it. So I was uh, slightly tempted by this one. I won't lie. I don't have an Esqueleto anymore. Mine is no longer with us. May she rest in peace or he, because I like to refer to it as Jared Leto. <laughs> if you know, you know. And um, yeah, I did always really love that plant. I just don't really have the space for it. So they do have some Parisos here up on poles for you already, some Syndapsis hiding in here, lots of common stuff. I see Monstera Peru peeking out over there, a whole sea of Ring of Fire. If you guys have been looking for a Ring of Fire, they have no shortage of them here. And then they have the Golden Crocodile at the end there, which is my personal favorite and the one that I have in my collection. So. This Gigantium, oh my goodness, they had a bunch of them just kind of scattered around. And I was saying that's how you know there was a flowering plant hanging above. <laughs> 
that one that's what it looks like when your hoyas bloom a lot you just end up with um, a bunch of dead hoya bloom all over the place it's kind of a pain in the butt they're beautiful but when you have plants that bloom constantly they're just making a mess everywhere so they have these stunning Jose Buono philodendron here for $140, which is honestly not a terrible price for the size of these. If you were looking for one, these are insane. They're massive and they are beautiful. So they have tons and tons of philodendron, you guys, every type you could possibly imagine they have here. They have some really nice ferns over here. I think this one here is an Australian tree fern, but I might be making that up. I just love how fuzzy and weird it is. I love this plant. I just don't think I could confidently keep it alive in my home, but I do think it's really, really beautiful. Staghorn ferns over here. Definitely one of the easier ferns. Mine is still kicking somehow bird's nest ferns here i really don't know the names of these maiden hair maybe possibly potentially but look at this philodendron i think this is a dark lord or something similar these leaves are huge look at how beautiful they are they're more heart-shaped than i thought they would be honestly when they're mature more gigantium no shortage of those absolutely stunning like it just looks like a giant marble queen with a different growth pattern and obviously i love it so look at this thing like is this not gorgeous look at how daggery and beautiful and i just i don't know i don't know what i was expecting from this plant in mature form but it's a lot prettier than i thought it would be so there is that and then over here i just thought they had some really cute pottery out i love the fall colors i love the textures and i just love pottery <laughs> i love the little feet on these ones too super cute of course they've got tons of really common stuff too lots of ivy i'm not going to show you that obviously i just thought these pots were cute it's croton season croton another peek at this because i'm just like how is it possible that your leaves are bigger than my torso it's insane and then there are more ferns over here that i don't know the name of <laughs> some pothos hanging baskets above me i see some crocodile ferns hiding in there i do know what those are called and then behind me we have some succulents they also had these really cute epiphyllum. I've been kind of wanting to get one of these. They were only $12.99, but they weren't on sale. I think it said only the foliage plants were on sale. So unfortunately, that doesn't include succulents and cacti. I don't know if it includes euphorbia, though, because they technically have leaves. I don't know. Anyway, there are some brain rocks over here, aka lithops. I love these. I know some people don't like them. That's totally fine. I just love all the different colors and textures and how weird they are. I do have a handful of them that I'm just trying to keep alive. $7.99 for these, but if I can manage to keep them alive, I would love to get some more variety and pot them all up into one big pot. I just think they're so stinking cute their blooms are really freaking weird i just i don't know i'm a sucker for a weirdo but sometimes it's just not your brand of weird and that's totally fine i hope that you guys enjoyed the little weirdo unique plant video i did for you recently i will definitely be doing more of those i know that you guys enjoy them some giant philodendron over there that I just casually skipped over. And then, of course, the cacti. They've got lots of barrel cactus, some sneaky little euphorbias hiding in there, more epiphyllum types that I skipped over because I was just locked in on this euphorbia. I was really curious to see how much it was. Of course, I don't think I even showed the price, but... I did really like that one. They have some old man cacti and then, of course, some of the booby cactus. Can't go wrong with a booby cactus. I may or may not have finally purchased one, but I'll show you guys. 
so more cacti over here don't touch the cacti they will stab you and they had the what are these called spiral cactus spiralis and they were definitely underwatered they're looking a little, a little floppy i mean like a little curve a little curve never hurt anybody but i don't think that the cacti are supposed to do that so 69.99 <laughs> for these ones i'm such a child i am so sorry and um over here look at these look at this euphorbia i want it i want it so bad you guys it's so pretty i want a big one so bad david and i are totally into these i think this is a giant crown of thorns like i am just obsessed and so is he you can tell he's very engaged <laughs> with the euphorbia and we we're just having a chat here about potentially getting one of these one day when we you know have the budget for it he was saying he liked the ones that are just straight up and down i like the ones that have lots of arms and branches let me know what you guys prefer in the comments below i just think the branches look cool and then he's always showing me these i don't think he remembers that he always shows me these same mother of thousands or mother of millions succulent because he thinks they're cool and then lots of cute little echeveria different hybrids nice and colorful some more giant philodendron didn't even look to see what this one was i apologize for that some sort of 69686 maybe but don't quote me and then i was just going straight for the ripsalis i was like "Ooh, cute little ripsalis what's over there skipping over like the giant philodendron in front of me i don't have adhd you have adhd but anyway that's pretty much it for what's going on here for plants you guys i am so overwhelmed but thankfully there was a kitty over here for me to pet so she or he was trying to drink dirty water so somebody came and gave him some clean water and i gave him some pets and that's the end of the video okay bye okay fam so that was mahoney's in win win winchester winchester massachusetts yes. i always forget what state i'm in i know and there's winchesters everywhere so they had some really nice stuff like it was way bigger than i actually anticipated it being this might be like the biggest one I think you said out of their locations, I think the so. website said. Yeah. So, and he bought me a pot. Yeah, I got her a pot. It's really cute. It says, you grow ghoul. Ghoul? <laughs> ghoul. Ghoul? Girl. You grow ghoul. Ghoul? Wow. Are you all right? No, I need water. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. This is the day today. So that was really that was really nice. I wanted the anthurium, but it was too expensive. And um, one of those giant euphorbia trees. One day, I would love to put that in the. Living they had room. a lot of really large plants, and they all looked really good too. And they were on sale. Yeah, twenty five percent off all the house plants. They had so. a lot of stuff that was fifty percent off. Even, yeah, like ten dollar pink princess. But even just and all, all the other like, stuff is twenty five percent off. Yeah. So you're getting a deal. Yeah, if you're running around Boston. <laughs> it might be all get the Mahoney's. Get your khakis <laughs> and drive. It might be all the Mahoney's <laughs> locations, too, that are, like, in and around get the Boston khakis. area. Anyway, yeah. I love you guys. If you enjoyed this, you should give it a thumbs up, even though it was slightly chaotic. You should bit. definitely subscribe so you don't miss more of the chaos. And I love you. If you watched this whole entire video, leave me... The ghost. The little ghosties. The little ghost the little, ghost the little ghosties. If you watched this whole entire video, and I love you, and I hope you're having a beautiful day, and mm -hmm. I will see you in the next one. Bye.